Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C2 tank killer. It's October 2020. We're going to look at using the GBU-38 and 31 JDAM INS GPS guided bombs on this aircraft. It's the same as using them on the legacy aircraft, the A10C Warthog, but there are small changes in symbology. Because of that, we're going to do a streamlined tutorial. I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with these bombs from the old aircraft, and we're literally just going to show you how to drop these bombs and the symbology involved. Push and hold weapon release to drop the bomb. Coolly switch right short to cycle between MFD screens on the right MFD, left short to cycle between the left MFD screens, left long which means to hold it for a second or more to make this screen soy at the center of interest so we can work on that screen and of course right long so that we can make this screen soy and work on this screen. China hat aft long we're going to be using that to slew our TGP to our SPI our sensor point of interest boat switch aft and forwards we can use this to cycle between white hot and black hot in the TGP DMS data management switch we've got forward and aft I'm going to be using them to zoom in and zoom out on the TGP DMS left and right are going to be for my weapon selection master mode control switch will allow us to choose the method of weapons employment next the tms controls we're only going to use forward long to create a speed and finally our axis controls we must have these two chaps here hotas slew horizontal hotas slew vertical but one axis going that way one axis going that way we're in a fresh air spawn plane here there's a target about 10 miles off my nose on the ground the plane is set up already with master arm on and tgp on and warmed up First thing we want to do is to create or move our speed, a sensor point, an in, sensor point of interest, to somewhere near the target. Just so happens we have steer point two near the target, so we're going to select steer point two with the hard as soy, i.e., with this little asterisk in it here. We're going to DMS up, forwards, and forwards again. We now have steer point two selected, and that would have automatically moved our speed to that steer point. Next, we're going to select our DSMS page on the left MFD really just to show that we've got two GBU-31, Station 5 and 7, and they are both ready for use. Next, we're going to change our master mode to CCRP. So, master mode button, guns, CCIP, and CCRP we see in the HUD. Next, we're going to select our weapon. So, again, with the HUD as soy, we will use DMS left and right to select the weapon. So, left, we can see it says GBU-31 there, and these have been highlighted to Stations 5 and 7. Next, we need to point our TGP in... The direction of the bad guys so we're going to go air to ground this is already fully warmed up we're going to ensure that this is soy a sensor of interest with coolie switch right long it's now boxed so it's now soy now to slew the tgp to our current speed at steer point two china hat aft long we're now pointing in the rough direction of the target now we need to find the target to do so i'm going to go infrared so boat switch try aft and forward see which gives us the best white hot black hot white hot seems fine next we're going to slew the teapot manually to our target which is going to be that guy there we're going to zoom in i don't think we need a field field of view change but we can do dms forward to zoom in like that next i'm going to go for an area track which will be our default and move it to the base of the vehicle is always the best idea so we've aimed the crosshair at the base of the vehicle automatically we've got our area track now we're going to move our speed from steer point two to this point here tms forward long and that's it we'll now have the new symbology to drop our weapon in the hud so this vertical line here is going to give us steering guidance to the speed or to the target we have to fly with our velocity vector here as close to this line as possible to keep us on steering also we have a new dynamic launch zone here here is our current range of 6.4 miles that guy there represents our max maximum range droppable and our min the minimum range droppable once our current range gets within our max and our min we can press and hold weapon release until the bomb drops note that we've got zero minutes and 25 seconds until we reach our max let's unpause the simulation and drop the bomb so i'm going to steer the vehicle towards our line, our vertical line. 
six seconds to go until we're droppable and we're pretty much online there it doesn't have to be perfectly because this is a guided weapon obviously okay we're now within our max i'm going to press and hold weapon release watch our dsms one bomb on station seven has left and we can see if we quickly pause there that we now have a time to impact of zero minutes and 50 seconds i'll leave my plane in autopilot now and we can follow the bomb that's two thousand pounds of freedom heading towards that guy i'm going to speed up Note this can only be used against static targets, not moving targets. If you want to use it against a moving target, there is the GBU-54 laser JDAM variant. That's a brief overview of how to use non-laser JDAMs in the A-10C2 tank killer. I hope that was useful and see you later.